she has such a great bubbly personality, and her videos are so professional. It would be really nice to see her in a environment where it's live and unpredictable, and um, yeah, she, even in her messages, she seems so down to earth, so I imagine a live show would be really fun for all of us to watch. Another activity that I have in mind is there's a website called sharetube.com, and as you know, I love to share all the kinds of artists that I find on YouTube, and um, this is a website where we can watch videos, one video, all at the same time. So maybe I'll do a couple events. First, I'll start off with some sort of highlighting of my recommendations that I make that month. Um, we can all watch the videos together. And um, then maybe I'll do a theme of scratching videos, whisper videos, all that kind of thing, role play videos. And I'll make fun playlists. And the fun thing about it is you can shit, you can add to the playlist as well. So that's a website called sharetube.com. And if I do have an upcoming event, um, I guess I would even be even happy if like one person came to like watch videos with me. Because, <laughs> you know, it just <clears throat> adds a, a new dimension to, um, you know, the whole, I guess, YouTube watching experience. <laughs> It's really fun to watch by yourself, but then sometimes it's kind of cool, especially with the ASMR trend. Um, finding ASMR people, it, it's so cool to like, I don't know, <laughs> talk to them. And they're all so nice, <laughs> and everyone has this really cool goal. A goal to relax <laughs> and you don't have to relax by yourself I don't think you could do it with a group of people and, um, anyways I thought that might be fun to try so keep your eyes open for that little uh, announcement um, and let's see I ultimately what I really wanted to ramble about was um, And then, also, I wanted to give another shout-out to Lily Whispers, um, and her grandmother, who just recently passed away, and she's very openly discussing it with the community, and, um, very, very considerate for her to explain such a person. She didn't even have to do that, but she did, and, and she's... Even on the day of her memorial, she made a video, and, um, the grandmother's memorial, she made a video for everybody, and I could see that, yes, making videos are very relaxing, and, um, on times when you, you feel stressed, uh, sometimes watching ASMR or making ASMR kind of helps you to clear some dust and cobwebs in your mind, sort of like how they say when you feel stressed out, if you clean, um, it's supposed to help organize your thoughts or something like that. It helps to like restart your brain, so um, the video that she made, uh, I'll put a link below, it's just a simple ramble, show and tell video, which, I'm such a big fan of hers, so uh, I enjoyed every second of it, and I've watched it like three or four times <laughs> already. She just posted it like yesterday. <laughs> um, another person I'm getting really into right now is ASMR Loves, um, who did this like hair cutting tutorial. You have to watch it, people. Not tutorial. What am I saying? Role play. Hair cutting. Wow. I don't know how she did it, but it the sounds are amazing. Amazing. They sound so real. It really sounds like she's washing your hair. I don't know how she does it. Um, but it, 
it, it was it's such a cool video so I'll put a link below I hope you'll watch that too and um, but ultimately I wanted to ramble a little bit and um, not just about those few things that I just talked about but something that I've been dealing with uh, for a couple months now and I'm having a little bit of a hard day today and like how Lily Whispers um, took that time to make a video on a bad day I wanted to sort of have an outlet as well to make a video on a bad day <laughs> and help myself organize my thoughts now I was going to do some tapping as I rambled, but I just cut my nails really short and I did this like rainbow on my nails. Can you see that? <laughs> so no tapping right now, but I will show you something that, um, that pertains to what I want to talk about. Um, here I have two little boxes and they have two seashells in them and um, they make a great sound and they're, these boxes are magnets so you can hang them on walls and stuff like that but um, yeah they make a great great little noise too when you touch them together That was loud, but look at the ridges on them. They're so super, super defined. Really, really pretty. This is what they look like. So these are just... They're not like ordinary seashells. They obviously mean something to me. Um, my boyfriend and I um, met a long time ago, maybe back in August of last year, seven months ago, so we've been together seven months, and um, for a majority of that time, he has been living abroad, and he's having a really hard time coming to America right now. I should explain first how we met. Um, I met because I'm an English teacher and I was teaching his friend English and the friend told me that my boyfriend, um, well not at the time my boyfriend, but he wanted to learn English as well and I teach privately. So I said I would and um, <laughs> I, my boyfriend's beautiful. <laughs> He's like, so pretty. If you were to see him next to me, you would not think we are a couple. <laughs> but he liked me and um, asked if he wanted to be in a relationship. And I at first knew that he was he's going to go to his country, Tunisia, to um, join the army. And I, I didn't... Um, want to do that because I thought it would be too much of a stress but his reaction to my denial or my um, yeah you know he, it really affected me it, it affected me to see him so unhappy and I wanted to make him happy again so I said okay let's try it let's try for a short time if it doesn't work you know then, then we tried, and if, um, and we can see how far we can take it, and we'll take it as far as we want to take it, and if it continues to make us happy, then let's keep going. And we've always had that kind of spirit. Um, every day the love grows. It's a very mature relationship. Um, it's like any other relationship that I've ever had, but 
long distance added this new element. I had to do research on it because um, you can't go to the movies. You can't. You can't just like get in your car and go grocery shopping or go for a walk or or just like lay around and like watch TV or, and just and like not talk to each other or like grab a bite to eat. You can't do any of those things, any of them. So you needed I needed to like redefine what a relationship could be. And there are a lot of really good suggestion websites. You know, there are people who have significant others in the army or they're doctors and they go abroad or they're missionaries or whatever so there's lots of kind of ideas especially with um, you know the internet um, with a webcam and everything you can do a lot of, you can feel very connected to that individual now what you do with a webcam because uh, it's a tool you know you have to sort of there's only so many things you can talk about, only so many conversations that you can have until you're just like staring at each other. And I don't think I've ever let a conversation get to that point because I knew that was going to be something that I wanted to avoid. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know. <sighs> I want to expand on this some more, but there are lots of really good ideas that we would do, like play charades or fortune tellers, you know, the fortune tellers. And instead of fortunes, we would put questions inside the flaps to, like, learn more about each other. And then, um, let's see, we would also do, like, karaoke and we would do karaoke in languages that we don't understand. <laughs> it would be really funny to, you know, I don't know, just goof around and we'll do, we'll show photos of each other. We'll do, sometimes we'll take the webcam outside if we have internet connection somewhere else. Sometimes we even go on like virtual dates where I'll take the camera to a Starbucks and I'll camera in public. It's it's really, really embarrassing. Um, but and some people are so fascinated by it. They like come by and they come to the camera and they want to say hello and everything. Um, and he'll go to an, an internet cafe or or something similar to a Starbucks. Um, but anyways. I have a lot of ideas for long distance relationships, so if you want, I can do, I guess, I, or I'll just send you a personal message about some activities that you guys could do. But it gets hard, and that's like what happened to me today. Um, now I've gone to see him, and that was back in December. He cannot come here um, because the visa that he has right now expired and the only way that he can come here is what the embassy said is that he needs to be either married uh, has a student visa or has to have a child in the country and so um, obviously he, he can't get any of those right now so um, I went over there it was very easy for me to go there and it was a lot of fun and um while we were there, we went to the beach, and I got these two shells to remember the event. They mean very much to me. And, um, I'll probably hold on to them for a really long time. <laughs> uh, now I came back in January. And it's end of February, and I'll be going back again in the end of March. Um, and the nice thing about my job is that I can really go anywhere. And, and you know, international teaching, the market really hasn't affected it. Another thing we do to keep connected is he has a ring that I 
put a secret message in the inside and he wears it every day. And then this, before I left him in Tunis, he, he said, take something of mine with you when you go back to America. I said, okay. Um, and he wore this necklace and I said, I want, can I have your necklace? He said, yeah. And it's um, a little book. And then in the inside of the book, I put our photographs. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty romantic. <laughs> Keep the shelves. <laughs> My boyfriend has, like, a mini shrine to me <laughs> in, <laughs> in his house. <laughs> And we always laugh about it, how ridiculously and painfully romantic we ha have become <laughs> because the relationship long distance is like purely gestures, love gestures, because that everyday kind of stuff, grabbing a cup of coffee, going down to whatever, buy toilet paper at the mini mart. <laughs> You know, that's just everyday stuff that you would just do with your boyfriend. It it just doesn't exist in our relationship right now. And um so we have become extremely sappy and weird and I don't know. Yeah. Really kind of <laughs> like barf barfing like rainbows and hearts kind of um love <laughs> relationship um and but the goal you know the goal is that we will not keep a long distance relationship forever some people it works and at first it was nice for us but we both have decided that we would like to close that gap we would like to end that chapter of long distance and to move forward into having comfortable natural <laughs> physical relationship where, you know, you can hold hands or have a hug or just, you know, to share a moment together and to see the person in their eyes. And um, those little physical traits and, and moments <laughs> sitting together, that kind of thing. Um, are, are definitely something that we cherish. We cherished when we were together. And now that we're apart, we cherish even more. And then when we're together again, I think that we will really appreciate every moment that we have together, which I think is very beautiful. So it is difficult. But there is something beautiful that comes out of it, for sure. And, um, I guess I'm just rambling because I needed some support, you know. I get a lot of shit from... <laughs> I get a lot of shit from my family, my friends, my co-workers. Because where he lives, it's Tunisia. It is the first Arab democracy. It's where the Arab Spring started. And if you don't know what the Arab Spring is, it's the start of all of these... Um, revolutions that are going on right now in the Middle East, the rise against the dictators. It started in this country, and in fact, my boyfriend is related to the man who started it. They share the same last name, and we joke about his last name and his family, and they are very passionate people, but I always think most Arabic people are very passionate people, and I never really saw myself with it and I never imagined this kind of life you know um it just ended up happening this way and I'm a very passionate girl and a very adventurous girl very accepting girl um 
I, I'm extremely excited about things that I can learn from and new experiences. I want to experience as much as I possibly can and I truly, truly believe that every day is a gift. I do. <laughs> I think that we are put on this earth to experience as much as you possibly can. Life, you know, it can be scary and hard sometimes, but man, you could really make it something special if you just allow yourself to open up your heart and let the world in. <laughs> and that's what I did with my boyfriend, I let him in. And it's been very difficult. I got a lot of, I do get a lot of backlash, especially from my family. So it's difficult because I do want to show them I care about them. But <clears throat> I am in control of my life, yeah? And there is a point, I believe, in your 20s where maybe even earlier than that for some of you, but it took me this long to realize that my life has to be lived and needs to be fulfilled by myself. No one else can fulfill it. Oh, I hope some of you recognize this soon. If you have not yet noticed it, I hope that you realize that your happiness only be created by yourself by gauging the problems that come into your life choosing whether or not you want them to affect you um, then choosing activities that truly make you happy not what everyone says will make you happy um, and by living by your own expectations creating your own goals your own expectations and then fulfilling those expectations it is extremely um, uh, um, nourishing to your spirit to fulfill those expectations um, and yeah this is definitely a ramble because <laughs> I've talked about many many different random things but I thank you so much for watching. These videos are another thing that I just started and they are fulfilling and they do make me happy. Anyways guys, thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Again, it's my first variable video. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Um, and <clears throat> please, um, the activities that I make, if, if you're interested, you know, I'll, I'll advertise them, of course, and if you want to ask a friend to join, the more the merrier, really. So, okay, guys, um, I'm looking out there for more recommendations for all of you. And, um, thank you again. I hope you all have a great day today.